So brain injury is a, a broad term. It, it means basically any type of injury to the brain, such as stroke, hypoxic ischemic brain injury after cardiac arrest, concussion, would all be types of brain injury. Brain injury is again a, a broad topic. Traumatic brain injury is probably uh, the commonest type, especially in young uh, people. The second most common type, like what we call hypoxic ischemic brain injury, happens in about 324,000 individuals each year who have an outside the hospital cardiac arrest with hypoxic ischemic brain injury. Yeah, I think the biggest misconception about brain injury is because it was not as well understood means it was under-recognized. And so secondarily, I think as more about the brain science has emerged and what kind of brain dysfunction is being recognized, there's greater awareness of how to recognize it and thus treat it or evaluate it and manage it. I think brain injury, especially for concussion, has historically been underreported um, and underrecognized. I think the old classification for concussion, we'd call it grade one, two, and three. Grade three was a knockout and people lost consciousness. Um, grade one and two were, I guess, more subtle, um, but um, people's attention span or maybe their specific date they could recall might have been um, a finding. Now I think there's a lot more attention to concussion and people are recognizing that people need to uh, stand out of a sporting e event, for example, and it's getting a lot more science investigating it, into it as well. The Mayo Clinic Neuroscience ICU is a world-class, multi-professional team comprised of various team members, starting first and foremost with the, the neuroscience nursing, um, who are there with the patient 24-7. Um, on top of that, we have uh, specialty nurse practitioners and physician assistants helping physician counterparts who have board certification in neurocritical care, which is the highest standard for managing patients with brain injury. On top of that, we have all kinds of technology and research available for the patients from multimodal brain monitoring, uh, EEG, um, brain probes if a patient is severe enough to need them to help guide us in their prognosis, as well as world-class research that we collaborate with facilities such as Johns Hopkins and other places to offer the best possible care for the patient.